I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. And my very special guest uh, today is Lauren Bush Lauren. She's the CEO, creative director, and co founder of Feed. Feed. <laughs> F E E D. Feed Projects, huh? Yes. But before we get to that, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Colorado, and then when I was about eight, we moved to Texas. Um, mm -hmm. But I've lived in the Northeast for over a decade now. Mm -hmm. And then um, you have a degree in anthropology, I thought. I do. I yeah. minored in, I majored in anthropology, minored in photography I see. at school, which was a lot of fun. And where do you live now? I live in the West Village. I live in New York. Oh, in New York yeah. City. And how long has Feed been around? Feed has um, been around for six and a half years, um, but it actually was an idea I had starting in college, so about so you, 10 years ago. I believe ago. you're not even 30? I'm 29, and bordering so on 30. six years ago, <laughs> um, you were obviously just 23, right? I was. I was just out of college. And so um, how, how did it happen? I had the really kind of amazing and life-changing experience starting as a student, starting as a sophomore in college of traveling around the world with the UN World Food Program because they were looking to get more students active and engaged in the you know, fight to end world hunger. And um, it was through that experience that I was really exposed to the realities of hunger and poverty that unfortunately you know, so many live with around the world. And I came back from those travels you know, feeling kind of disempowered and not knowing what to do myself and not knowing what to tell other young people that they could do because world hunger is this kind of massive, overwhelming, very far away issue. Um, and at the same time, I was studying design and really interested in the fashion industry. So it's kind of like two different worlds. Um, and I literally had this aha moment of why not create a bag that's eco-friendly um, and for every bag sold, we'll feed a child in school for a year. What kind of bag? It's a burlap bag. Um, there's many different versions of it. I brought oh, yes. one today, of course. This is a Feed Kenya bag. So we also work Very with different stylish. artisan groups. This one um, has yeah. the hand beading. And so where do you get these bags? Um, on our website, feedprojects.com okay. is the best place. But and so when you buy a bag, what so happens? So this bag feeds two children in Kenya in school for a year. So it really costs you know, so little to do so much and have such a large impact. So we're building that donation into the cost of a product so consumers you know, basically become donors, um, but they know very tangibly and very measurably exactly the impact they're having through every purchase of a feed product they make. And where are you with this project now? So six and a half years in, it's kind of surreal. We've been able to partner with great companies like Clarins, Godiva, Pottery Barn, Whole Foods Market, most recently Target, um, which was our kind of most mass partnership yet. Um, and you know we've been able to give. Actually, today is World Food Day, which is appropriate. And um, today we are announcing that we're we've been able to give over 62 million school meals. 62 uh, million school. But that's through individual purchases mm -hmm. and you know people really wanting to do good and and give back through. Their when you purchases. partner with these other companies like Godiva, mm -hmm. how does that work? So with um, Godiva and different companies, we'll create special bags. Primarily, bags is what we sell. Um, and each product has, true to the feed model, a number on it, which signifies the meals donated. But it's always tailored to kind of what the partner mm -hmm. um, needs and what their customers might want. And so it's been a fun part of my job to work with these bigger, more established companies to create you know, feed programs that really resonate with their companies and their customers.